we, EPP, make a choice to have a cohesion Europe that sticks together and that support those regions that are not growing so fast. And especially, cohesion policy is the glue that helps Europe to stick together. The EPP Group spokesperson on cohesion policy, Lambert van Nistelrooy, at an EPP Group hearing on the issue. Negotiations about the future size and makeup of the European Union's budget after 2020 are in full swing. From 2014 to 2020, nearly one third of the budget was allocated to spending on cohesion policy. The aim to reduce economic and social disparities between different regions across the EU. Mr. Van Nistelrooy explained why it is so important. Europe has to be competitive in the world. We get into the new era of, um, of digitalization, and especially there we can make investments. Investments in growth and jobs, investment in a more sustainable economy, all over Europe, in all our regions and cities. MEP Andrei Nobokov is the European Parliament's co-rapporteur on the Common Provisions Regulation, which will set out EU-wide rules on how seven funds, including the Cohesion Fund, will be administered. He explained how much money he thinks is needed for the post-2020 EU cohesion policy pot. It's all about 372 billions of EU investments in our citizens and their regions and their villages and their jobs and companies and their children. And EPP, we believe in people. This is why we invest in them. My core mission as EPP Rapporteur is to keep European budget for cohesion close to its citizens. All the way from the students, farmers, entrepreneurs, they should know that the European Union is right beside them in their challenges and everyday problems. MEP Marc Joulot is a member of the European Parliament's Regional Development Committee. For the group PPE, we have, for example, created an initiative with des collègues du groupe euh, en organisant euh, une manifestation ici au Parlement européen que l'on appelait euh, Let the Star Shine pour euh, bien montrer et mettre en valeur des projets euh, financés par l'Union européenne dans les régions qui ont été euh, reconnus pour euh, leur valeur ajoutée, pour leur intérêt, pour ce qu'ils apportent au territoire et aux populations. Donc, je crois que pour améliorer la visibilité de la politique de cohésion, il faut d'abord partir de ce qui se fait sur le terrain des exemples concrets qui ont été aidés, soutenus, financés par l'Union européenne dans les territoires et les régions européennes et bien montrer que ces territoires ont bénéficié et ces projets ont été réalisés et qu'ils n'auraient pas pu l'être sans les fonds européens.